Alright, I'm Sophia, and I'm here to do another video on Eric from. Yay! Okay, now since YouTube hates me and doesn't want to upload, I'm gonna be really concise and really fast. So keep up. Um, brotherly love. So much for fast. Um. Um. Is love for all human beings. It is characterized by its very lack of exclusiveness. Lack of exclusiveness. You can love anyone that's human because you're human. Okay. For erotic love. It is a craving for complete fusion, for union with one other person. It is by its very nature exclusive and not universal. Don't forget that. Inasmuch as we are all one, we can love everybody in the same way, in the sense of brotherly love. But inasmuch as we are all also different, erotic love requires certain specific, highly individual elements which exist between some people, but not between all. Okay. Really basically, you can love anyone for being who they are. Or for just being a person, like you. But you can't fall in love with anyone. With just, well, uh, no, not with anyone. I mean, with anyone in the world. Because, it's like, this isn't exactly the same thing, but it's, it's, it's the same kind of a, it's a similar kind of a distinction. So I think it'll suffice as, as an example. It's like you, you have your friends. You, you can potentially be friends with anyone, but you have your friends, you have your close friends, you have your best friends. Now, with your best friends then, there's this thing where you and they connect on a very intimate, personal, individual level that you, that you just don't have with most of your other friends because it's just not there and, and you just don't have that connection. That's what happens with erotic love, and that's why if, if the feelings aren't there for the person, or if the relationship doesn't have that quality, then it's not gonna last, and you're not really in love. Okay, I think that made sense, and because I want this video to be uploaded, I'm gonna cut it off here.